Hi, this is Liz, and I'm going to show you how to make texts in iClone 6. There are probably many ways to do this, but I'm just going to show you the way that um, I do it. First, you should go and open iClone 6. And once it's open, what you want to do is to select a surface. So go up here where you can see the a folder, the uh, actor, the animation, uh, and here we have backgrounds, and finally you get here to the uh, props and uh, set tab. So you click on the set tab and you scroll down and you can see this props tab. Open the props, and if you can't see everything you can uh, drag this over a little bit, change the size of your uh, uh, setup here. So once you're in props, what you want to do is we want to get a surface to put the text on. So go to blocks and you can click on blocks. I like to open it so I can take a, a good look at the words because I'm it's easier for me to identify by the words rather than by the shape. And so I've opened 3D blocks and I scroll down here to wall and I click on it. I select a wall and double click on it, but as with iClone, you can uh, drag it to the stage, uh, whichever you like. Uh, purely for aesthetics, and so I can see the big picture, I scroll back a little bit by uh, moving my finger down on the mouse. I also like to hit the home button so I can uh, just position it, but this is purely uh, my, my uh, personal taste. You rotate the shape by uh, using this little icon up here. So now we have our shape. Now I go over here to the Modify panel on the right. And in the Modify panel, uh, I see that we have various options. I go to this little checkerboard, which in iClone 6 is, indicates material. So I click on the material and various options open up. Now, if uh, it doesn't open up, just make sure that uh, you click the plus sign and it'll open these things up for you. So we're, um, we're interested in the texture setting. You have the diffuse option and opacity. You can see these little icons down here are load, save, delete, ah, launch. So you click launch. Okay, so we can see here Photoshop has launched and now that wall that we have on our stage in iClone has been cut out and is flattened and that's the reason you have this interesting uh, shapes here, these three different shapes. In any case, let's uh, make sure I want my text to be black. So I go up here and I'm going to select black text. You can of course select any color you want. Uh, and down here I'm going to start typing what I want my uh, label to be uh, for my iClone project. I'm gonna, and so I've typed it in here. I'm going to take my little pointer. and So now I've uh, put my name or my label, and you could put a couple of different ones. This is just uh, uh, for uh, simplicity. All right, now I've placed the name where I want it or the label or whatever you're writing. So now I'm going to go up here to File, Save As, and we're going to save this as a JPEG, and it'll open in iClone 6 temp, and I want to save it as a JPEG, and you can see once I open it, we can see the previous uh, diffuse map that I was using right here. I'm not going to rename it, I'm just going to click on that and save it now with the new title. I'm going to replace it and there it is. It's going to minimize it by clicking up here in the this little minimize sign and you can see it's already updated it over here. If yours doesn't update automatically, uh, all you have to do is click here. So so now we have I have the name here but um, it's not exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to have a clear background. So in order to do that, so to just have the name with not on a background, I'm going to uh, work on the opacity. So how do I do that? Let's uh, minimize iClone 
and go back to Photoshop. And now what I want to do first is to create a, a new opacity layer. So I'm going to go down here to this little sheet of paper that looks like I'm uh, turning the page and create a new layer. So now you can see I've created a new layer. Here's the title or the text that I want. I'm going to turn off the background. and So you can see with the background gone, there's the, the name on a clear layer. All right, so the next thing I want to do is go up to my uh, text bar up here. I want to click color range because I'm going to want to put everything else uh, uh, black color. So, so I go here and I pick the color of the font. So if it was blue, you'd pick blue, of course, with it, since it's black, I'm going to pick black and I've now picked the color and uh, apply it, click OK. And now you see it has selected the entire name. But I don't want that. I want the rest. I want the layer behind it. So I want to have everything but the name. So I go up here back to select and I go inverse. And while it and if you noticed carefully the the little uh, you know and ant kinds of lines around the name it changed so indicating that it is now selected the layer the background not it's no longer selecting the name okay so how do I now fill that background well I go up again to the top of the bar here and click edit and go down until I see fill, click fill. And uh, I want the contents, I want to use black. If this doesn't come up as black, just click the pull down and you can uh, do, have a variety of options, foreground, background, color, if you have a unique color like blue. But uh, since mine is black, I'm just going to go with black and I'm going to click OK. All right, so now if I turn off, so if you click this little eyeball over here and you turn this off, uh, it disappears. And you can see that uh, if I save this, everything is masked black except for the name. So I'm now going to take this uh, opacity map, I think is what it's called. I'm going to save as. And this time, I'm just going to save it in a easily accessible place. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Here we go, iClone, uh, Opacity. And I'm again going to save it as a JPEG. There we go. Um, and I'm saving it as Opacity. And here we go. I've got that saved. Good. Let's minimize Photoshop and I'm going to go back now to uh, my iClone 6 which I only minimized, I didn't close it. And now here we're back at iClone 6 and you can see here's the name again, the opacity. I'm going to now click opacity, double click it. And you'll see because I've been to this folder before, it took me to the iClone 6 folder but uh, if it doesn't, it'll ask you where it is. So just remember where it's at. I'm going to click that. And there we have it. It has now applied the, uh, my name and removed the background. Let's just uh, for a moment uh, uh, twirl around a little bit. What I had wondered was, would the name be three-dimensional? And it's not. Let's twirl it around some. You can see it's fairly flat. In case you're curious, uh, please try this experiment yourself. But I did try in Adobe Photoshop. I uh, created it in 3D and brought it in to see if it retained the 3D and it didn't. So there are probably other ways to make it 3D. But in any case, you can now animate this and you now have a way to create names and uh, letters or what have you titles for your iClone project. So for animating the title or names or whatever you want to do, how I do it is I'll, I click the arrow up here and I select the object 
And if you click over here, you'll just uh, orbit the world rather than the individual, uh, what we're looking at, the title here. So I uh, click over here at the world rotate or local rotate and I select local rotate and the rotation ball comes up so I could you know with time you could do something like uh, here it is at time zero and move forward on the timeline have it be like this and um, and then maybe come back up and have it move the timeline a little more and you could uh, rotate it around some more and you can just play with it. It's interesting that you know it it uh, is inverted when you go to the back. I guess it shouldn't surprise me but it did surprise me so I thought I'd show that to you and uh, go around again and here we are. Okay so let's see if we go all the way back to the beginning what that looks like. Going down and up and let's see if it goes around. It is so. So you can create all sorts of effects with your uh, with your uh, text and edit. You could do a Star Wars thing where it scrolled or had other very interesting things. So thanks for watching. And again, hope this helps. Bye.